How's it going, everybody? My name is Kind Heathen. I'm teaming up with Drunken Uncle and Lose Intelligence to review a video. So let's do this. Well, that was necessary. Dragon and I am the feared wizard Drunkus Unclus, master of necromancy, and whatever it was Freddie Mercury meant when he sang It's a Kind of Magic. Pleasure to meet you, Dragonfeather. I'm Grundle Twizzler. I'm a level 14 paladin, and I'm ready to learn. And I'm the Pumpkin Wizard. Fear me and my awesome pumpkin powers. And I'm here today. Hello, people. Greetings, human! Or as we call you back at the Pumpkin Village, backup food. Um, I'm here to help you guys learn how to, like, create your own spell. Well, thank fuck it's not a makeup tutorial. By the way, I thought you were great in Kung Fu Panda. Fuck yes, I am ready to become a necromancer. Let's do this. Because a lot of people have been coming to me recently, not only asking me, like, oh, how do you make your own spell, but also they've been asking me how to, um, uh, like, to do it for them, almost. Like, oh, could you write one out for me? And... What a bunch of lazy cunts! You know what they need? A spell of motivation. The bottom line with spellcrafting is it's gonna work so much better if you do it yourself. Like, if you write it out yourself. Spellcasting, much like a Christmas present, is much better when you make it yourself. So in other words, you're already being lazy as fuck by using magic to get what you want, and you can't even be asked to write your own spell. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to rhyme perfectly, it, it doesn't really have to be this amazing piece of poetry to work. So basically I can half-ass my spell and still get what I want? See, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Minimal effort with all of the benefits. Like date rape. It just has to come from your heart and your intentions have to go into it. So, yeah, you can just wing it, really. Magic can't even tell. It's stupid. And that's really all you need. Like, you don't even need all of the other fancy stuff, like your wands, or your athmes, or your crystals, or your herbs. And you have my bow. And my axe. Or any of that to create a successful spell. Oh, believe me, my herbs are the only thing that's getting me through this. And it's good shit, too. Like, or to cast a successful spell, you don't need any of that. All you need is your intentions, really, and, and something to say to help bring out your intentions. But the reason why we use the other things, like the crystals and the herbs and the athmes and the wands and all the tools that we use is to help us focus our intentions. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure if you added herbs to the equation, the last thing I would be able to do is focus. How is a wand going to focus my intention? Unless my intention is to stab someone in the eye with a wand. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a very simple spell. Yes! This is my chance! I, kind heathen! Shall cast a spell to turn me into a necromance! You should wish for a bigger dick! Shut up, bitch! This is my spell! And I'm gonna become a necromancer! That's fucking stupid! You're stupid! Um, I have... I write my spells most of the time in sonnet format, which is A-B-A-B. -B. Please fuck this up, please fuck this up, please fuck this up, please fuck this up, please fuck this up! C-D-C-D. Uh, what comes after D? A bit of spooning and a cigarette comes after my D. Boom! Ha! E F E F G G. There we go. Sorry. Okay, so A B A B C D C D E F E F G G. That's how I write my spells. Um, and I'll put a little format right here for you guys. How the fuck did this turn from how to necromance into poetry with dragon feather? Um, but that's basically. Uh, what I do and letters that are the same. So like A B A B, the two A's would have rhyming l words at the end, and the two Bs would have different, but still rhyming words at the end. So, if you're trying to do a spell that's based on oranges, you're fucked. Um, and that's usually how I cast my spells or write out my spells. Um, of course, there's many other ways to do it. You can just do A, B, A, B. A bab. Sounds suspiciously Arabic to me, but carry on. You can do A, A, B, B. Um, you can do really whatever you want to have a good, um, Rhyming poem. Great! Haiku it is! The point of a spell is to make it rhyme, 
um, for any of you guys who are familiar with the Wiccan read, um, it says to write it in rhyme so it will work better. Fuck! That means all of the greats were wizards! Wordsworth! Keats! Tupac! I'm paraphrasing it, obviously, but to write it in rhyme so when you cast it, it flows better and it just, you can put more of it into it because when you say something that rhymes, like, you're like, oh, that sounded fun. So that's why it is better to write things in rhyme. To make it fun? Bitch, this is supposed to be how to cast a spell, not an indoor fucking playground. Um... Now, for those of you guys who have a hard time rhyming or a hard time writing poetry, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be written in rhyme, but I suggest on the internet, since you're on the internet right now... Oh, shit! How did you know that? Fuck, you are magic! Um, bookmark a rhyming dictionary on the internet. Just search in... search words that rhyme with blah blah blah. Words that rhyme with blah blah blah. Labia? Uh, Hezbollah? And then the first one that comes up is going to be the thing that I use, which is, um... Is it dictionary.com? I don't know. But it has a rhyming dictionary in it, as well as a, thesa a thesaurus. It's pronounced Tyrannosaurus. Thank you very much. And a dictionary. So that can help you as well. Great, thanks. So once I've cast my spell and raised my army of the dead, you will have dictionary.com to thank for the destruction of all of humanity. Um, but basically, in order to cast a spell, so with all of our steps, step one, I guess, um, and the first part of writing a spell or creating a successful spell is to figure out what the hell you want. Like, do I want prosperity spell? Or do I want a love spell? Or do I want a self-improvement spell? Like, If by self-improvement you mean using my undead army to take over the world, then yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. What do you want? Boobs. All of them. And then, before you even try and conjure a spell, say you want, a, you want prosperity spell, you know, you're going to think to yourself, what have I done everything that I can to bring prosperity into my life? Have I, you know, gone out and looked for a job? Have I been grateful for everything I've gotten? Like, have I said thank you for the things I already have? Uh, you know, I didn't know by magic you meant, you know, get my life together on my own through practical means. Okay, I, I'm here because I don't want to do that. That's why I'm here. So, yeah. Like... Think of those things first, and if you've done everything that you possibly can on the mundane world, and you're still having some issues, then is where you bring in the magic to help you give that little extra push to get what you need. But if these prosperity spells actually work, why do you look like you need to turn a trick to get a bit of crack? So, step one, let's say you've done everything you possibly can, and you have no idea like, you're like, I don't know what to do now, and this is when most people message me, oh, could you help me? Whoa, 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 so step one was just have a little think. This shit's easy. So step two is to figure out what exactly you want again. That, that was step one! You go, go over it, what have I done, blah blah blah, go over step one again in your head. Step two, go over step one again. Am I paying for this service? This is a free video and I still feel like I want my money back. Now that is magic. And okay, prosperity spell. Let's say the prosperity spell that I want is, I want a job. Period. Very general, very blah blah blah. If you say you want a job in your spell, you're gonna get a job, but it might not be the job that you want. The whole thing about making spell and spell crafting is to be as specific as possible so the universe doesn't pull fucked up tricks on you. <laughs> oh, okay, so the universe is a douchebag. Luckily, though, I don't think there's a way for the universe to fuck up necromancer powers for me. Be like, oh, you want a job here? You get to mow lawns now. Like, I don't know. Be specific. And be fucking picky, by the sounds of it. What, mowing lawns isn't good enough for you? Well, good luck getting a salary in a parking space with your witchcraft while the rest of us are working. Say, like, I wanted to work at Hot Topic as a sales associate on such and such days. Like, be specific. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you conjuring the dark arts and, and asking to become a sales associate at Hot Topic? What, what a fucking waste of spiritual cosmic energy. Lady, you didn't need to say Hot Topic in order for everyone watching to know that you want to work at Hot Topic. You had every option in the world just then. Doctor, lawyer, astronaut, any option in the world, and you picked Hot Topic Sales Associate. What is wrong with you? I could tell by your video intro that you want to work there and probably know the store better than anyone who already works there. You might feel like, wow, I'm being greedy, or wow, I'm being a little, like, 
to a mask for too much. No, be specific because if you want this, if you want it bad enough, and if it's good for you, then it'll come to you. You, s you must be a very humble and down-to-earth person if you think it's being greedy to ask the infinitely powerful magic universe to make you a fucking sales associated hot topic. Okay, because I gotta tell you, you could probably squeeze out a bit more from Gandalf or whatever the fuck. Just, you know, just me to you. This isn't even a joke. This isn't even part of this video. I'm just saying, next time that you convene with the spirits, maybe uh, set the bar a bit higher. Okay? I mean, if you shoot for the stars, you might miss, but guess what? You'll hit the moon. Yeah. There you go. Totally as an example, I figured out that I want to job a hot topic as a sales associate and I want to work only on the weekdays. There you go. That's what I want. And I want to earn a little more than minimum wage. Okay? Done. Okay. Okay, just to be specific here, what I want for my spell is I want season two of Keenan and Kel on DVD. Season two. Okay? And I want it in the original box unopened. If the magical universe can deliver that to me, I will be happy. Okay, so that's that's what we're shooting for here. Season two of Keenan and Kel. And so at this point, what you're gonna do now is you're going to create what you want into a poem. Like like I said, I write in sonnets. Not everybody writes in sonnets, but I cast my spells in sonnets because it just it flows to me. Yeah, I could tell by the fact that you forgot what comes after the letter D. You're like Shakespeare with dementia. And um I like the way they work. So I had something in my eye and it bothers me. Personally, I would have edited that part out, but hey, maybe if you write a sonnet about it, it will edit itself. But yeah, so write a spell out. Um, I do not have a spell for you guys about Hot Topic because I really don't want to take the time to write that. I love you guys, but no. Um, but anyway, with all those specific details, try to the best of your ability to write something that rhymes. Why'd you look over there? What's over there? Is it the CEO of Hot Topic come to offer you a job working only on weekdays and paying a little more than minimum wage? Damn, this shit really works! Like, either A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. Hey, you did it! I'm so proud of you! That's the sonnet format. Um, you can do A, B, A, B. You can do A, A, B, B. You can do A, 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 B. Um, C, 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 B. There's, an, there's tons of poem layouts. If you search it up, you'll come with tons of poem layouts to help you have a structure to write a spell. And at this point, after you've written your spell, you've got it all down, it rhymes and everything, then the next step is to think about it. So, step one, have a little think. Step two, repeat step one. And step three, think about it. What do I want to use in this? What do you have? Not what you want to use, but what do you have at home that you can already use? All right, let's see what we, what we got here. Okay, we've got a bottle of water. Uh, PlayStation 4 controller, uh, a guitar, uh, oh, and a Necronomicon. Okay, well, um, uh, I'll use the bottle of water. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Do you already have crystals that work for prosperity? Do you want to do, um, do you have herbs that could work for it? Do you have other sorts of things laying around the house that represent what you want and you want to incorporate in your spell? I could sacrifice my fiancé's cat. How many magic points will that give me? No! Um, you can do it that way, and you need to figure that out. But if you have to, like, go out and buy all these things, don't buy all the things. You can totally do a spell without anything. Just your intention. If you just sit at a candle and say it over and over again, like, that's spell casting. Are you sure about that? Because that sounds like a nervous breakdown to me. Um... Anyway, the next step is to figure out what kind of magic you want to use. Do you want to use a witch's jar? Do you want to use a spell bag? Do you want to do candle magic? Do you want to do um, meditation magic? It was where you meditate on it and you recite the poem in your head. You obviously have to have it memorized. Recite the spell in your head and visualize it happening. That's meditation mag magic. But what kind of magic do you want to use? And once you have all those things figured out, then before, then pick a day to do the the ritual. So the next step would be to pick a day that you want this to happen. Um, if you're doing a prosperity spell, full moon is the best time to do it. If you're doing a banishing spell, like trying to get rid of someone or something in your life, like... If I want to cast a banishing spell on, let's say, an unwanted fetus, how long after she's late should I wait? Just, you know, like, next day, or should I wait a bit? You know, I don't... It's my first time 
doing this sort of thing. I was just going to push her down the stairs, but I uh, I thought this would be less invasive. The new moon is the best time to do it. Um, and even if it's during the Sabbath, like, do it on the Sabbath, you know? And if you want to do a love spell, do it on Beltane. I know Beltane already passed, but, you know, there you go. I'm just giving ideas. Oh, no, that means you can't do a love spell until next year. That means you're going to have to rely on your looks and charm. Today, right now, Necromancer. Let's do this. I'm not going to wait for the planets to align, the moon to turn red, and the stars to spell out my name in the sky. I want instant results. But pick a day you want to do it, and don't pick it too close to the day already. If, like, the new, if, like, the moon, the full moon is, like, three days from now, like, don't do it on this full moon. Do it on the next full moon. The moon is a rock. I'm not waiting for it. Because you want to be prepared. You don't want to be rushed. And after you have your date, then you will do what I like to call a spell rehearsal, which is where you, um... You rehearse the fucking spell! Come on! Basically, sit down and, like, go through the spell, like, go through the motions, what you're actually gonna do for the spell, so you don't- so you're not just winging it. Or write it down. Write down a spell layout with the spell in it as well, so you don't forget anything. Um, and this is where your Book of Shadows comes in. Um, if you guys use them. The Book of Shadows sounds really cool, but I've just looked it up and it's not. Although it is a good way to con teenage girls at $10. I don't have a Book of Shadows, but I have a Death Note. <laughs> I win. And then, after that, so say so you have all this preparation done and you have all your spells, you have your items, your materials if you're using them, if not, you have nothing, you just have the spell and you have your intentions, and what you're going to do is you're going to do a, you can take a, a ritual bath, um, you do not have to, but do some sort of thing to help prepare you for the spell casting to bring you into the more calm, um, magical mood, if you will. By taking a bath. The only way that will make me feel magical is if I use some of that mint shower gel on my asshole. Um, and just, you know, ground yourself. Time for my ritual magical pre-spell masturbation session. I'll be right back. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, God, yeah, fucking shit. Okay, I'm ready for my spell. And ground yourself for a while. Like, meditate a little bit before you cast a spell. Meditate on what you want to have. Visualize what you're what you're trying to get as if it's already there for you. Jesus Christ, this is exhausting. I mean, there's so much stupid shit here. I mean, magic? What? Spells? That's <laughs> that's not even real. I need a break. I'm gonna I'm gonna go lay down for the rest of this. Uh, wake me up when it's over. And after that, cast your spell. <laughs> Uh, yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, make it bounce. Make it bounce, whore. And when you're done casting your spell, forget about it. And I know that's the hardest thing to do, but after you cast a spell, it usually, the, usually the moment that you forget about it is when it works. And that's what the herbs are for. All right, I got gotcha. you. Um, I've cast spells on people before. You better have had their consent. Or that's rape culture. And the moment that I forgot about it, it worked. Well, that's proof then. So, you know. You know. But anyway, you're going to forget about it right after you're done. And you're just going to be like, know that it's going to work. You have to believe. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it. Okay. In five, four, three. <laughs> The key to this whole thing is you have to believe that you can make this happen. Because if you don't believe that you can make this happen, then the universe isn't going to believe that you can make this happen and it's not going to happen. All white people are racist, all men are misogynistic, all cisgender people are transphobic, all members of a majority are biased against the members of the minority or oppressed group. Yeah, my life has been bad. I'm a bad little racist, cis white piece of shit. You need to punish me, my love. So, believe that you can make it happen, the universe will believe that you can make it happen and make it happen for you. Yeah, because the universe can think. Didn't you know? Cause magic, bro! So, focus on your intentions, make sure you forget about it after you're done, and I know that's really difficult, and believe in yourself. I know that's cliche, but believe in yourself and this will work. Okay, believe, believe. I've had a little think, I've repeated step one, I've thought about it again, 
My anus is still tingling from the bath, and I'm feeling magical. <laughs> All right then, let's do this. I cast this spell, or incantation, to lay away all my frustration, to stop my causing irritation with some abstract method of placation. Titania, Hecate, and Sabrina, Minerva, Hermione, and John Cena, please allow myself to pick the option for a smaller dick. Oh shit, I can feel it working. I don't enjoy witches, I don't like warlocks. I don't fancy bitches, but I do want big cocks. This spell is for big thick cocks. Army of the Damned, the powers to summon, uh, uh p p please also send money. Thanks. All right, I think that was a successful spell. Now it's just a matter of time before I rule the world. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Kind Heathen, and remember to subscribe to Drunken Uncle and Lose Intelligence. And hey, guys, remember, mint shower gel. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha